a plane! Come to save us! No, there's just a plane going by, it won't stop. Survival Diary, Day 5. Things don't look too good for the human race. The skeletons just came out of nowhere, right up out of those graves. So far, the only other survivor I've met is a strange man named Paolo, who spends all of his time talking to the Gerber logo on some baby cereal. Baby? You're so crazy! But luckily, I think we got most of them. Do you know how I got these things? I don't even play the drums! That's all I can film for today. Power's running dangerously low. Well, the power went out. Uh, this, this Palo guy's really starting to freak me out. Do you know if monsters break through our fortress? I know what I'm gonna do. The first thing I will save is my mustache. Group morale's pretty low. We're running out of provisions. All we've got left is a bag of candy corn, a couple of grapes, and a novelty Green Lantern ring replica. I'm not really sure how much more I can take of this. Are you going to eat those grapes or not? I thought we got all of the skeletons, but we must have missed one. Paolo was on scouting duty the other day. Hello? And he said we had an hour, maybe minutes, before he got here. Monsters, why you got to be hiding so hard? If there's anyone out there watching this after it's all over, I just want you to know the truth. I died a virgin. Let me in. What do you want? I've got something to give you. Don't do it, Zachary, don't do it. Paolo, take care of yourself. I will never forget your beautiful soul. Yeah, you, you dropped your wallet. I've been chasing you for days, man. You got like 20 bucks in here. You should be more careful, you know. We've got some real freaks wandering about. Waka waka! So first off, excuse the grossness, I'm a little sick. I'm all congested, I got some kind of head cold or something. Hey. But I can still kick Apocalypse butt. And uh, for the vlog of this week, we're supposed to grab three random items in our room and uh, tell you how we'd use them in a monster apocalypse as a weapon. Well, first off, we've got the complete Sherlock Holmes, which, uh, as you can see, is a very thick, very heavy hardcover book. I think it's safe to say that this is very useful as a bludgeoning device, uh, quite deadly. And maybe I can teach a monster a thing or two about Victorian crime literature. Secondly, I've got my infamous Viking hat. I think the offensive usage from this item is quite obvious. There might even be a, a boomerang effect once thrown. I'm just... Yeah, you don't believe that. I don't, I don't either. What are you gonna do now, huh? How are you gonna act? Oh, where am I? You don't even know. And of course, there's a certain protective element of this too, so... Uh, I think it's a I think it's a pretty good monster apocalypse weapon or armor and the third and final weapon against the um, monster apocalypse is bobblehead Jesus any of you horror buffs or uh, supernatural fiction lovers will be all too familiar with the power of the crucifix against the undead well if these are monsters of a magical or demonic nature I'm sure that bobblehead Jesus will be just as effective in, in fending off the hordes. The power of Bobblehead compels you! And keep your ears open for Saturday when we will be posting our first episode of Pod Candy, the Vlog Candy discussion podcast. Uh, more information on Twitter, make sure you follow us, and we're really excited for you guys to listen to it. And, uh... <sighs> so, I will... I won't talk to you. I will read your comments later.